Well, fellas, I keep hearing that these things going through a lot of depth, so I figured I'd take a couple minutes and share my experience. I have not a lot of experience with these power strokes. Uh, you know, a 17, 6, 7, uh, a 23, 6, 7, and a 24. I have significant amount with the Cummins and close to none with the Duramax. So take it with a grain of salt, but this is what the channel is all about, sharing my experience. And come along if that's what you want to know. So a little bit of after treatment, how this one performs versus a 23. And usually that's what this video is about. As I said, I pulled over to do a little bit of inspecting. Uh, it saves you a lot of time and money. Just peek under the hood once in a while. Make sure nothing's sweating, dripping, dumping fluids that could leave you high and dry on the side of the road. You know, and when I used to train my drivers, I'd always tell them, hey, just grab the step and take a good look under your equipment. Make sure it's not leaking any fluid. Front right corner by the passenger floorboard is perfectly fine. Just verify that it's water. That's usually where the condenser dumps the AC condensation. Alrighty. It's getting warm out there. 77. Anyways, let's talk about DEF usage. Clearly, I just fueled up 20 minutes ago. So, no, this truck does not burn a lot of DEF. Um, some people uh, are comparing it to the previous generation. You guys got to be uh, fair and compare apples to apples. What I'm going to compare is the Cummins, the Power Stroke. So, I personally have driven, owned a 19 Cummins 6.7 and then numerous you know 19 plus cummins in the fleet so first-hand experience and i could watch the data right there with the fleet um the cummins when it first came out the six seven cummins it went through death like crazy i mean we had receipts you know 900 miles later whole fuel a uh, whole def tanks gone right usage uh, later with the with the updates of the transmissions and transmission tuning was horrible in the early 19s but they got that figured out and then they got the def figured out so the usage is right about the same at a first glance it seems like the cummins burns more uh, def but the reason it's the reason it seems like that because the tank's a little smaller so what i'm averaging well i gotta go back I'm doing 70% loaded, 30% empty pickup driving. So that, that varies heavily, right? Your DF is is heavily dependent on the load of, on the engine. So with that data, what I'm doing or what I'm seeing is about $10 per or just under $10 per thousand miles on the clock. So that's roughly a penny a mile. That's what I'm averaging. That's one way for them to have a penny off of me for every mile I drove. I see it as road tax and uh that's just what it is well it does help with the with the system right to keep it clean so to answer the question no they don't go through def more compared to my 23 my 23 ford 67 same variant right the first really they called it job one it was xlt if you're curious go on my channel uh previous videos literally a year ago it's probably when i sold it oh it was very predictable and it was different. The The thing would wait till it's in high percentage. It wouldn't restart. I've never seen that thing start regening before 85% filter plug, right? The filter, exhaust filter, at least had to hit 85%, sometimes up to 100 before it starts actively regening. Where this one is different. This one will literally take every opportunity it can, anything north of, I have a feeling it's like 15%. If you're climbing up that hill, and this thing says 15% or more, it will take that opportunity and clean itself up, right? It's a steady hill climb. It puts a load, load more, more fuel, more, you know, you got boost and it takes the opportunity to clean out your after treatment system, which is very smart, right? It never really gets all that plugged up, which I like. I like this 24 variant versus the 23 because who's to say that, um, you know your your filter is plugged up like my case last week this thing stayed in town all week and i did exactly what i tell you guys not to do right bunch of short hauls bunch of short bursts to the store to the office uh, and this thing got up to 80 i think 80 or 85 percent that's the first time i've ever seen the percentage so high because it never got the opportunity to clean itself out 
I feel like if I would have continued that, it would have I would have forced it to do a, a more aggressive regen, one of those higher idle. I don't know how they differentiate. Commonly referred to passive and forced, but I'll just leave that alone. You know, this thing just miraculously cleans itself, right, as you're driving versus they're sitting there and you could really hear that high idle and, and stuff like that. So you could really hear that engine. I'd call it a uh, simple versus aggressive region. So what I was trying to tell you, like last week, a lot of short bursts and this thing built all the way up to 85 and then I happened to get on the interstate and after about a 20 minute drive, it just dropped all of a sudden. I missed it when it started going downhill. Now, if I, it was a 23, it would have kept building, possibly, and then the opportunity wouldn't be there. Uh, the opportunity isn't always there to do a region, so that's why I favor the 24s. It takes every opportunity to knock that filter clean. So, hopefully that makes sense. I am tired, guys, so please forgive me. I'll take every opportunity I can to bring it along on a, on a video. So I keep y'all updated. You know that I'm I'm excited with this 24 power stroke because it's so much new information, so much new data to me. I uh, I'm just excited to share it with you, and I'm learning a lot with it. I think that's one of my favorite things about this truck. Obviously, the seats are killer, but also the fact that I'm learning so much information. Oh, but yeah. So the after treatment is a lot cleaner. Cold starts. This thing doesn't reek like the Cummins do but and the, the Cummins don't regen as smoothly as this thing does when a Cummins regen you can clearly hear the engine and you this and that right there's a lot of things you could hear on that Cummins this thing is is pretty quiet when it cleans itself out so it's awesome anyways guys I better wrap up this video as always may the Lord bless you May y'all mind fine day in the comment section. Let me know what other things you want to hear about this truck. I got to get going. My break's over, and I got to get back to work. Ciao. Bye.